I have a YN563 and 4, and I just thought I'd put up a video um, because I have had a couple uh, minor issues and one major issue. Uh, sometimes the flash wouldn't power up, and one thing that I uh, was able to do was I'd clean the terminals uh, that connect to the batteries with a Q-tip and a little bit of, well, this in this case I was using hand sanitizer that has about 70% alcohol in it, and that actually did the trick. So if there's anything in the way of making the connection between the battery and the actual terminals themselves, uh, in my case there was a bit of battery acid that uh, was spilling out from some alkaline bat batteries I was using. Um, after cleaning that, uh, the flash worked just fine. So another issue I ran into was I plugged in my DIY external battery in the wrong position and it seemed to have shorted out my flash. And again, I just wanted to mention here that um, I'm kind of doing this on my own here. I didn't see any other videos of people who had taken apart their young Numo 560 and discharged the capacitor on them. So I wasn't quite sure where the capacitor was located. What I did was just uh, test all the different points with the multimeter to make sure anywhere I was touching didn't have a charge. Uh, next, I actually cleaned up the edges because there was still a bit of stickiness left over. Uh, which was kind of still holding the two sides together. What I forgot was uh, you got to make sure you undo the screws that are located on the top of the flash. Right there. So after you remove the two top screws, it should come open fairly easily. Next, uh, there are four screws at the very bottom. Remove them. There's this tape holding onto it, um, which I tried removing with some pliers, which was a bad idea. But uh, you can still, if you do that, you can still reconnect it later. Next, um, at the very top, there is this, uh, the two screws at the very top. Uh, release those and it'll release the uh, bottom enclosure from the continuity. bottom of the speed light. And this is what it looks like. So, at this point I wanted to check the continuity. Uh, I, I figured that I had maybe blown the fuse uh, to my flash. And so I figured if the fuse was blown, well there wouldn't be electricity running from one point to the other. Uh, be careful because right next to it looks to be a black capacitor. Um, but again, if anybody knows where the capacitor is located, the YN560, and how to discharge it, please, please, please post the video. Okay, so I found, finally found the culprit, which was one of the, uh, uh, the ground wire um, coming from the, the battery terminals had gotten disconnected. So it was really easily solved, that was the problem. Once I connected it, uh, I soldered it back on and everything worked out fine. So here I am putting the cable back in place. As you can see, it's kind of a pain in the butt, but it goes back in. Okay, and I just wanted to point out at the very top, there is a little uh, plastic shield. Um, and you kind of have to finagle it a bit for everything to fit. And um, that's about it. Uh, here I am just putting everything back together, screws on the very bottom. Uh, careful when you're tucking in the wires on the side of the top of the flash. Uh, you don't want to obviously break or damage any one of these wires.
So here I am about to check to see whether my flash is fixed, if it'll power on or not. And obviously it's going to work because otherwise I probably wouldn't have posted this as a help video. So yeah, it works, but it's making a very strange noise. So uh, this is something that I wasn't expecting. So I ended up having to take it apart again and find out what, uh, what I did this time. There it was, it was a wire that was, uh, kind of got connected onto the top, uh, where the screw goes in and it was preventing the, uh, the bulb mechanism from freely moving up and down. Uh, so what I did simply was I got a twisty tie and I tied them together so that there was no chance of it getting amped up again. And really quickly, I wanted to also show one more thing. Um, basically, when you put those side rubber pieces back on, uh, put, you have to kind of let the, the clips snap back into place. I just I didn't really show that earlier, so I'm showing it here. And finally, my flash is now working. And the zoom is working again. I hope this helps. Um, you know, this is just a, one issue that I ran across out of the two, and both seem to do the job. Thanks.